Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are going to install Docker on Open Media Vault 5 with Portainer. So let's do it. First of all, we need to move to OMV Extras and from here we need to go into Docker. Now, you will see some path here. If you select that path that will be listed here, that will something like user bin. So the Docker will be installed on your SD card. But here I'm not going to install it on our SD card. We are going to install it on our external media. So uh, we'll go to shared folder. And from here, let's just click here and then columns. And we need to select absolute path. Once we do that, we can just maximize this by clicking here. And then we need to use this path that is SRV DEV disk by label store. Let's just maximize it. And the folder name is doc on which we will be going to install our docker. So let's go ahead and just enter the path. So I have copied the path. Now let's just move again to OMV extras and docker. And then let's just paste the whole path here. Now let me just go ahead and show you that our folder is empty. It's empty right here, docker on Raspberry Pi. Now once we do that, let's just click on save. And wait for a while. This will start installing docker on our external media. I have connected a flash drive of 32 gigs. and it will take some time. Let's just click here and click on install and it will start installing docker on our external media now. So the docker is successfully installed as you can see successfully installed docker done. Let's just go to click on close and as you can see status installed and running. Let's just click here and check whether it's installed or not. So here is the docker folder. Now let's go ahead and uh, try to access the folder again and it says this folder does not belongs to you. So what's the problem here? We need to provide the permission to our user. So let's go ahead and go to user again. Click here, add it, then go to group. And from here we need to move down. And here is docker. Let's just click docker and save. Apply. Yes. Now once we add our PC Mac user to the docker group, then what we need to do is we need to go into shared folder and then we need to provide the ACL to our docker folder. So let's go ahead and click on ACL and as you can see, all the folders are listed here for docker. Now what we need to do is we need to provide the system account permissions. So admin, we will provide read and write permission to admin. And then on the bottom, we will select talker as well. And we will select a root as well. So we have the full permission to access the docker folder. So I have already selected these options. Let's go and click on apply and then close. Then after that, once you try to open it, you can see all the folders right here. After that, either you can use SSH or you can use Portainer to access your Docker file system. So let's go ahead and go to OMV Extras and I have already installed Portainer. So it's up for four minutes ago and I have created an admin user. You just need to log in to it. Let's just go ahead and log in. So once you logged in, you will see uh, interface like this. So what you need to do is just click on this option and you will see here that we have one image and the three networks are connected, one container, one volume. And you will see all the listings here. Otherwise, if you don't want to use Portainer, just go ahead and use your SSH that is putty. And let's just log in here. Let's log in with the root. 
and to check whether the docker is working or not let's just type docker command docker ps minus a and you can see that we have one container installed that is port near let me just maximize it and show you one more time it's right here it's up and running so you can check that out it's up and running and uh, it's working for five minutes now and it's using the port 80 and uh, now in my next video i'm trying to install the images on our open media world with the help of docker and try to work on those images and check the performance and working like plex mb pi hole some other images and show you the results as well so guys that's it from my end if you like my work please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for my latest videos share this video with your family and friends thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day